Hi ladies, how are you? It's Jennifer Sanchez and this video is just going to take you through the timeline of my home show. So the moment I'm ready and the first person walks in to um, throughout my, my show. So I'm going to do it as quickly as I can get you through it. Um, so I'm all set up. Let's say I, you know, I get there 45 minutes before I'm all set up. And the first thing I do before my first guest gets there is I put on three um, bracelets on the hostess. Now these are the double tennis bracelets from the incentive store. My video is not, I don't know if you can see that good, but um, these are the ones I like to use. You can use these. Um, and I just put it on her wrist. I put three of them. I only have two right here, but I put three of them on her wrist. Um, or you don't have to use these because these are about $3.99 each. So you don't want to use those. You can use these as well. I've used these and these come four for about three something. So this is a good um, one to use and you can just, you can put all four, but I always do three, either three of these, three double tennis bracelets, three scarves, three, um, three something sparkly, okay, maybe even the stretchy rings, but something sparkly, a piece of jewelry, and what that symbolizes is the three bookings that she's going to need for her gift card, so right away, I let her know, these three bracelets symbolize your three bookings, so as soon as your friends start asking you, ooh, is that, you know, is that for me, Where, where'd you find that, you can let them know, oh no, these are special, these are only for the ladies who book shows tonight, so if you like to book a show tonight, then, then you can get one of these bracelets. Um, so what that does, ladies, if you realize what this does is, from the very beginning, um, you're getting your three bookings. It's out there that you're trying to get three bookings because I replace every show with three bookings. That is my goal. Um, so now the hostess is your partner in doing that and you're not all by yourself um, trying to get three bookings during the booking or at closeout. Now you have all this time. And I'm gonna tell you again how I, when I introduce the hostess, I'm also bringing attention to those bracelets, okay? So that's what I do like behind the scenes. So now the doorbell rings and um, I'm answering the door. I never used to do this. Um, I always felt uncomfortable answering someone else's door, but this is definitely the way to go. Everything changed the moment I started doing this because I'm opening the door, I'm bringing them to the table, and I'm getting them started with the jewelry show. When I didn't open the door, the hostess would open the door, they'd start chit-chatting, they'd head to the kitchen, and they would just literally like walk by the jewelry lady, okay? So now I open the door, and um, I open the door with my pink cards, and I'm very happy, and I say, hi, how are you? I'm Jennifer the Jewelry Girl. We're playing a game, pick a card. Now, maybe there's nobody there, it doesn't even matter. We're playing a game, pick a card and she picks her card. Now these are the Mission um, Possible cards. I'm sure if you do a search in any of the groups, just Mission Possible, it'll come up, but basically it says, Mission Possible, your mission should you choose to accept is to find five pieces of Premier Designs jewelry appropriate to wear to a, and there's like 20 different scenarios, a business meeting, a baseball game, um, brunch with friends, daytime wedding, graduation, the symphony, there's different um, different places. So what happens is, let me tell you, before I used to tell people, go ahead and put on jewelry, just put on anything you want, put it on, go to my table, put it on. Never. It just, it did never worked. Um, now when I do this, people do not leave my table until five pieces of jewelry are on. It's incredible. Um, they, it's a game. So they're on it. It's a mission. They're doing it. Whereas before, when I just freely said to do it, it wasn't happening. So big, big um, difference in my show. Um, so now from the door, they're going straight to the table because they're like, oh, okay. And they're reading it and they're walking all the way to the table, reading it. They get there and they're at my table. Second person comes in. She joins them. Third, fourth, fifth. All of a sudden now, before your show starts, everyone is at your table instead of in the kitchen with the hostess which was what was happening to me, okay? So I do that. Now, the moment I see that they grab their fifth piece and they're about to head to the kitchen, I stop them. And I say, oh, good. Here's your five diva dollars for putting on five pieces, right? You put on five pieces, right? And then if they did it, they're like, oh, I just did three. Do I need five? And I'm like, oh, it's fun. Go put on another two. And they go. So when they're done, they get their five diva dollars. And then I say, and here's one more diva dollar. Oh, let me show you. Okay, so here's my boards. These are the boards from Incentive. Um, here's one more diva dollar for filling out 
this um, top square. So go fill that out um, and you get to, you know, there's $60 to start. This absolutely works. You want your guest survey back. You want this back. And unless you're guiding them to fill it out, it will not get filled out. It won't. And unless you're guiding them to turn it in, it will not get turned in. It'll be stuffed in their purse. So I have some tricks um, of how to get it back. How to get it filled out. You get them to fill out the first part by themselves before you start. It's their contact information. They're done. And I highlight that part. I don't know if you can see that in the video. I hi there it is. I highlight that part for them so that I can say, you know, the blue box or the pink box, whatever highlighter I have that day. Okay, so um, now from the table, I have them going to sit down and do this. Now, in between, they, they're getting their food too, so it's not like they're not eating. I do like them to eat before. My shows are long, so I don't want them to be hungry and thinking of food while I'm doing my show. So um, they're now, you know, now they can get their food. They're filling this out. Everyone's coming in. We're done. Okay, so as you can see, um, I have them putting on the jewelry. I have them filling out the survey. So this is helping me for later. Okay. I also at this point kind of start collecting these. They don't need to hold on to these. They'll just start getting lost in the couch. So when I hand them the clipboard, I'll like collect the Mission Possible cards back from them. So that's how I handle that. All right. So now it's time for the show. Okay. Um, the first thing I do is bring up my hostess. And remember, she has on her three bracelets. So I'm going to get to that. But as soon as she comes up, where's my clipboard? I tell her, um, I'm just going to role play that now. So I basically say, thank you so much, um, Jackie, for having me over and being my hostess. Ladies, I just want to let you know that Jackie's going to be shopping free and half off tonight. Oh, yeah. And everyone's getting really excited about that. They're like, whoa, that's pretty awesome. And I let them know, that's right, ladies, Jackie's my hostess, so she gets special treatment tonight. Um, and being my hostess just means she let me come over and invited you all, all over as well, okay? So she's going to get a really big, pretty clipboard today. It's a little different than yours because she's going to have her free and half-off list. Um, also, Premier is super generous and just for having a show and keeping her date and having her pre-orders, Jackie already has, what name did I use? I think I used Jackie. Let's stick with Jackie. Jackie already has a $50 gift card. So very good, Jackie. And I give her her card. And everyone's pretty impressed that she already has $50 in free jewelry. Okay. And then I say, and not only that, um, actually, do I do that part next? Well, yes, I do that part next. I say, all right, so next, um, she's also going to get another $50 gift card when three of her friends book a show tonight. Now, I know you've noticed those three sparkly bracelets on Jackie's arm. And then that's when I bring attention to the bracelets or the rings or the shine, whatever it is she has three of, okay? Um, it just needs to be three of something. So um, I say, well, at any point today, if you like what you see and you think this is fun and you want to do one of these with your friends, um, just go like this. To your friend Jackie and grab one of those bracelets because those three bracelets are for the first three ladies tonight that want to also have one of these shows. So what I did there, ladies, is I'm letting the processors process. I know I'm a processor. I would have had to listen to that then and then experience the day with that in my head that I could possibly have one too. Um, the ladies that are, you're just going to ask them at the hostess booking, that may be too too much. They may have wanted to think about it. So I like this booking activity because, number one, the hostess is your, your partner. You've told her she has to get rid of those three bracelets, okay? And number two is, from the beginning, I've heard ladies in the kitchen, oh, yeah, you can have one of these. She's going to tell you later, but you want one? You want to have a show? And I've had ladies get rid of one, two, or all three of the bracelets before I start my show. That's amazing because that means I have three bookings before I ever started. So usually in that case, um, I'll let them know, you know what, I think I have, you know, two more or whatever. And I end up getting those shows, maybe four, five, six bookings. All right. So that's what I do. Then I personally also have a um, VIP membership club. So I tell her, well, not only that, Premier is super generous. And that's a lot of free jewelry she's going to be getting. But I also have a VIP membership card for our hostess tonight. And my VIP membership means that you can shop every month, two items, half off. Um, you're going to get a free catalog every time one comes out. You're going to be able to shop my sample sale. And you're going to um, have a birthday Facebook bling party the month of your birthday. Okay? 
So I give her that, and everyone's pretty impressed that she gets to shop every month um, half off at two items. They like that. And then I also give her um, the hostess bracelet, the charm bracelet from the incentive store. I read the card, and I let them know what everything um, stands for. And then I also say, well, our hostess Jackie watched a video that I sent her about my business. And I send her um, the my six-minute um, OP video. So basically, I say, well, she watched that video, so she's going to get the hope ring. And I give her the stretchy hope ring from Incentives. And I tell everyone, well, don't worry. Um, you'll also have an opportunity to also um, get this hope ring later on tonight because I can give you the link and if you watch it you'll get the hope ring so there I am also doing like the sponsoring bit a little bit I'm letting them know that she watched a video about my business and is getting this hope ring and everyone here is going to be able to also get it for free and I'll include it in your order if you watch the video and text me back with the password before the show um, closes okay so as you can see, I've already made reference to booking, sponsoring, and I'm only thanking my hostess. Now, it's quick, okay? It's super quick. I give her her presents. She sits down, and now I start my purse game. Um, I call it the purse game still, even though I don't have the girls go into their purses, but I do use the letters. Um, actually, before I get to this, I should mention, um, before, right when I have her sit down, I tell everyone we're ready for our next game. And our next game, and I grab my phone, I go, our next game is a texting game. And I'm going to see who the fastest texters are um, because you're going to get a diva dollar. And my best, best text is going to get a little prize. And basically, they all get their phones because it's a game. And they're all texting me, and they're going to text me with a compliment about the hostess. So that's like our little icebreaker, like go around the room kind of thing. I do it. I do this for several reasons. The main reason is because now their phone number is already in my phone. I don't have to go home and input all those numbers in my phone. And I'm not the first one who texts. They text me first. So when I get home or the next day, I'm simply texting them back with, you know, thank you for coming. Um, and then I already have their phone in my phone, phone number in my phone. So I could text them when their jewelry has shipped. I can text them for the golden guarantee. Um, and usually what I do is I save their name and then in parentheses, I put the name of the hostess where I met them. So if I know today I have to go email all of, you know, Danielle's guests, because it's their 60 days are almost up. I just go into my phone and everyone who has Danielle in parentheses I know is from her show. So that is like a cool way. Um, and a, I made a lot of tweaks to my show this year. And these little things are, well, this was one of them. It helped me with my follow-up, which I needed help desperately with. So at this point, the ladies are texting me. They're texting me compliments about the hostess. Um, the first three people I give diva dollars too and then I read all the compliments and she picks the best one um, I don't read the names so she doesn't know who said it but I, I read them out she picks the best one everyone's all you know gushing Ooh, and she feels really special I give them um, I usually give them a free little mini clip it and I let them know that they're gonna love the clip it um, and the mini clip it's you can also get on incentives okay so now I did the texting um, everyone sat down we're ready to start and I start the purse game even though I don't do the purse game I I, I, at this point, say, you know, we've had so much fun with the compliments. Um, our next game, I'm going to show letters. And when I show that letter, you're going to yell out another, a one-word compliment about our hostess. So I do that. And really quick, I do the letters P for Premier, G for Golden Guarantee, S for the five things that start with S that you shouldn't do with jewelry on, J for Jewelry Show, and then that's it. Okay? So when I get to P... Um, just to backtrack, when I give her the hostess bracelet, I give them Premier's story. Um, I let them know Premier's been in business for 30 years, who's heard of them, who hasn't. Um, I, I tell them the whole story with the, with, the, with the charm bracelet. So when I get to P for Premier here, I tell them my Premier story. Okay, so this is when I tell them, you know, I didn't wear jewelry before. I just wanted a way to stay home with my kids, join Premier, two months later, quit my job. That was three years ago. So again, I tell them that because I want them to kind of see themselves in my shoes. And I tell them at any point today, if you see yourself doing what I do, let me know because, you know, I was you a couple years ago. So I do that for P. G, I let them know about the golden guarantee. And I tell them that's why I had them text me because I wanted them to have my phone number on their phone. 
because of our amazing golden guarantee. Then I do S. What are the five things you shouldn't do with jewelry on? The five things that start with S are swimming, sweating, sleeping, showering, and spraying. I tell them avoid moisture, jewelry first thing um Oh, uh, last thing on, first thing off. I tell them about the chalk in their in their jewelry box will absorb moisture. They love that. Okay. After us, I go to Jay and I let them know. You know what? I was a teacher. Um, we're here for jewelry today, and I'm going to teach you the five concepts. And remember, my script's on the back, ladies. So don't ever feel like you have to memorize anything. That's why I still love the purse game, um, or the letter game because it kind of keeps you on track. So I let them know that I'm going to teach them five things. I'm going to teach them how to build a jewelry wardrobe with enhancers. I'm going to teach them layering. I'm going to teach them how to wear long necklaces short, how to wear short necklaces long, and I'm going to teach them about framing. And then there, I put this book down, and I don't go back to it. Um, when I put it down, I do my jewelry show now. So my jewelry show, my fashion show is right at this point with my mannequin. I show a lot of pieces. I'm not going to lie. I show like 20-something, but I'm quick. I'm quick. Um, and it all falls into those categories, whether it's long to short, short to long, um, or anything like that. Okay. So after my jewelry show, when I, I have like two trays, three trays of stuff, I don't end up showing everything I set aside, but right when I feel like I'm losing them, I end with my finale piece, which is always the same piece I end with. When I end with my finale piece that I know I'm, about, I'm, I'm ending, I then transition. Most people pick up their purse game again or their letter game again, and they go on to H for hostess plan, and then they follow up with the next letter, you know, C for cash, or um, usually actually it was S for sponsoring, but I changed the S. But whatever the other letter is that you do for your sponsoring part, I don't do that. I left this down. I followed the Julie David um, suggestion of kind of transitioning, and the way I transition is I say, all right, ladies, that's about it for my fashion show. Who has the longest love it list? And that's my line. When I say that line, my fashion show is done and I have segued into my hostess plan. Now they're counting up their love it list because one of the things I didn't mention before, sorry, is that um, when they're sitting at the, you know, in the couch filling out the guest survey, when I get to the fashion show part, I do tell them to turn around the guest survey because on the back is their love it list. I call it a love it list because if they love it, they write it. When you call it a wish list, they think it's what they're going to buy, and they usually don't write anything. Okay, so change the name, and it changes the whole dynamic of how people think about it. So their love it list. So at this point, I say who has the longest love it list. They're counting, and they're screaming out how many they have. The person with the longest list comes up, and I have her hold a tray, and I show the hostess plan with boxes. So um, I've already kind of done that at the beginning. Remember, I presented the, the, the uh, hostess with her gift cards, and I told them that she was shopping free and half off. Now I'm doing it again, but for real, like the details. Um, in the introduction, I just quickly told them because they don't have it memorized. They're not going to memorize our hostess plan. But if you keep saying free half off, free half off, and then now you're going to go into more detail, they kind of remember, oh, if I do one of these, I'm going to get free or half off jewelry, Okay. So at that point, I bring her up. I show her, okay, so remember I told you earlier she's going to get $50, and I put two boxes, $50 for um, keeping her date and having pre-orders. She's going to get another $50 for um, when three of you get one of her bracelets. And then at this point, I say, okay, look, she has two bracelets left or one bracelet left, or maybe she still has all three. I remind them, remember those three bracelets? This is why you want to do that and grab one of those bracelets. So um, I stack four boxes for the gift cards. Then I say, remember, she also gets to shop free and half off. So I stack the eight items on there for that. So this volunteer now is holding a tray with four boxes plus the eight. And then I say, you know, plus our shows are $500 average. She's also going to get about 30% of that. I stack more boxes. So now this girl is standing there with a whole bunch of boxes. And usually people in the audience have either been a hostess or they know and they're shaking their head and they're like, yeah, that's that's what you get. OK, so that's what I do for that. And then it's over. It's done. I, we put the tray down. I say thank you. I remind them again. All right, ladies, if you want one of those bracelets, grab it now. And they're grabbing it. That's another t time for them to think about it. Then I say, all right, now let's go to your guest survey. Question number one. I would love to help my hostess earn another $50 gift card by getting my friends together and sharing this jewelry with them. And then I have a list of all the different ways I do shows. Um, it doesn't say no or maybe. It just gives them a list of ways I do shows. So I go each 
one by one because some people don't want a home show. They don't like that. They rather do it in a coffee shop or at, um, you know, happy hour or at their lunch break. So I let them know that it could be two people. That's okay. Or if you have a lot of friends, it could be 20 people. I let them know that. So now they're like, oh, okay. Um, there's other options. I let them know about fundraisers and Facebook shows, and I tell them to check one. Now, not everybody checks one, but sometimes people will check that didn't necessarily grab a bracelet, and then you just call them and say, oh, I noticed you check, or you do it, obviously, at checkout, okay? Um, so that's that way. When I read number one, I let them check. At this point, they're grabbing bracelets. The hostess is going around. Come on, grab a bracelet. I read number two. What did you enjoy most about today? Done. I read number three. If you had an extra $12,000 extra this year, what would you do with it? And then I just pause, let them think. Some of them say it. And then I ask the hostess, hostess, what would you do with an extra $12,000? And she tells me. And then I say, all right, come up here. Now I put this down, and now it's my sponsoring bit. So you see, I don't use the purse game to guide me into those two final parts after the jewelry show. Instead, I use my guest survey, in a sense, to guide me. Um, so now I do big money, and I say, come up here, hostess. And the rest of the people are filling out one, two, and three. I do big money, little money. Or no, I'm sorry, this is not big money, little money. This is big money by Jennifer Newton. I follow her script, like, almost exactly. Um... And then I added a couple other things, like I tell the hostess specifically, all right, you want to go on a trip to Europe. That's what you would do with your extra $12,000. Perfect. You're a jewelry lady. You start next week. What day of the week do you want to work? And she'll say Thursday. I'm like, okay, Thursday, next week. Well, guess what? 50% from day one, no quotas, no deliveries. You say the, the things you want them to know. Um, I'll tell them, you know, you have no quotas, no deliveries. You make 50% from day one. So on that very first show, um, it's a $400 show. How much did you make? 200. So I give her $200. Okay. And then, oh, excuse me. Um, my script's on the back. I just didn't have them in order. There we go. Week two rolls around and I tell her the same thing. I go, nothing's changed. You still make 50%. It was an $800 show. How much did you make? 400 so I give her $400 and she's standing there now holding all this money and then I tell her you know what on your third week you didn't have time because we're all so busy and I use that part to say how busy we are and I give all the reasons we're busy but I say guess what all this jewelry is yours you're a walking advertisement so guess what you're still selling jewelry even though you're not doing an actual show and I give her an example that she sells $200 that week, even though she doesn't have a show, she makes 200 bucks any, or 100 bucks anyway. And then I move on, you know, on week four, this uh, hostess didn't have time to clean her house. She doesn't want it at her house. She wants it out of Panera Bread. But you went, you did the show, you know, it was a $600 show, you made 300 Perfect. Now she counts it all up. It's $1,000. And you kind of leave everyone like, oh, wow. That was pretty easy. Um, and most importantly, you leave the hostess thinking that because you used her as an example and you used her why or her reason why she would need to do it. And you know she already loves the jewelry. So she's already thinking about it. Um, on top of that, side note, I leave every hostess with a hostess um, closeout form. And at the end, it tells her how much I made that night and how much that could have been her income. Um, and if she wants to change this show into her training show, then let's do it and that's hers, okay? So that is what I do with the big money, okay? Um, now I'm going back to my survey and I say, all right, ladies, now you can answer number four after my little um, scenario with the money. Are you curious about my premier business or maybe you know someone who is? And I have them circle their interest level one through five, can't circle a three. Um, and I tell them, this is the part of the show where if you wanted that stretchy hope ring that I showed at the beginning that I gave your hostess for watching the video, if you want to watch that video, it's super quick, it's six minutes, it has a password, all you do is listen to it or watch it, text me back with a password and I'll include this ring in your, um, in your order. So text me now with, please send me the video. Now remember, they've already texted me earlier with a compliment about the hostess. They have their phones there, they have my phone number, they're thinking, and right there I have my phone on so they can hear all the other ladies texting and my phone's going off of ladies in the crowd that are saying, you know what, yeah, I'd like to know more. That's when I do it, and it's instant and kind of like private, okay? So when I get home, I have all the texts of people who wanted the video, I send them the video, um, and I follow up to make sure, because some people, you send them the video and they never text you back. So you want them to text you back because you want them to see it couple days later, you know, if they haven't texted you back, you may want to remind them. 
Um, at this point, they've already filled out my entire survey part by part. I know it's filled out. I walk them through it. Um, and I tell them, all right, ladies, turn it around. Take a picture of your love it list and let me have those surveys. I'm telling you, if I don't collect them now, I, I end up getting some of them stuffed into purses or people who don't buy, take them. I don't want that. So I collect them all. And right there, I go like, you know, I go like this. I have the hostess pick one. She picks one and they got whatever. Okay. Um, now they're in my hand and if they needed their love list, they took a picture of it. Okay. That is my show. Um, I hope that was a nice like timeline of how it goes. Um, everything was super important. Greeting them at the door. Okay. Getting them to the table to put on jewelry. Getting them from the table to start filling out your guest survey so that you know at least half of it is filled out with their con you know, contact information. Um, and getting them to write down their love it list and making them realize, I love a lot of stuff. Um, also, having them text you. That starts the relationship and allows you to now have the you know, invitation to text them back and it's easy for you to follow up. Um, giving the, the hostess the three bracelets or the three whatever um, so that you're talking about book a show at the very beginning so that they have the whole show to think about it. Um, these are all intentional things I do. No matter what show I go to, it's the same thing. I say the same exact jokes, the same exact thing, the same format, the same everything. And that's good because if they've been to many of my shows, they're going to be like, I could totally do this. Okay. Um, my kids are getting rowdy. I want to stop before they come out here. But I think that's it. Um, very important to get them to fill out the guest survey. Sometimes it's not until you get home or at checkout that you realize someone checked something off. Um, what I also do is at checkout, I assume every lady took the bracelet. I assume every lady took the bracelet. Um, and I just say, oh, you took the bracelet, right? When, when you were interested in having a show. And if they didn't take the bracelet, they'll say, oh, no, actually, I, I didn't. And I'm like, oh, but you had so much fun. Let's have a show. And that's my segue into getting them to book at checkout. I always felt very uncomfortable, like, just bringing it up. And this is my way. Um, actually, the first time I ever did this, it was winter here in Florida, the one day of winter. And everyone had on long sleeves, so I couldn't tell who had the bracelet on so that's what got me to ask everyone like oh you, you're one of the ones that got the bracelet right um and then i realized you know what i'm just gonna do that every time as a way of me you know even if it's short sleeve season and i see there's no bracelet they could have put it in their purse you know so i just i ask anyway and that's the way that i book again at checkout okay especially when i see their love it list and i'm like oh my gosh you can get like a lot of these items for free if we just get together with a couple friends um so all of this was very intentional. Um, the way that I, you know, segue into who has the longest love it list and then go into my hostess plan. It just feels less planned, less like structured, actually. Um, even though it's absolutely very structured and scripted, when I'm doing my show, because I'm like in the middle of the show and then I just kind of like, you know, leave the mannequin and say, who has the longest love it list? <gasps> you do? Come here, girl. 40 things. Well, I don't show that many pieces, but, uh, you know, 20 things. Girl, I know your husband or your bank account is not going to agree on that. So come up here because I am going to show you how to get it for free or half off, too. Now I show her the hostess plan. Okay? Um, same thing, you know, with what What do you want extra, extra for that $12,000 a year? Oh, my God. You want a new kitchen? Let me show you how. Come here, hostess. Let me show you how. So it's very, it flows. Um, before my show felt like it didn't flow and I didn't feel intentional. Now I feel intentional. Now I feel like it flows. Now I feel like I know that I have told them about booking and I've told them about joining and the information is just very out there for them. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this, ladies. I will um, see you soon. Let me know in the comments what are your special things you do at shows. Um, I'd love to learn from you. Thank you.